uh, right now as well as that moisture is lingering. It's uh, bringing up the opportunity or potential, we should say, for uh, flash floods in southern Utah. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Garrett James following that story for us tonight. This is a very common sound to hear in Zion National Park, however, it can be a very dangerous part of the park as well. In just the last week, there have been numerous flash flood warnings in southern Utah. Monday was no exception as there was a flash flood warning earlier this evening for Zion National Park. So we like to say that Zion sees about 300 sunny days every year. But on the days when we do see rain, that rain can have a significant effect on areas that we know folks want to visit. Probably the most affected and one of the most popular is the Narrows. The Narrows is a very popular hike that takes you into the Virgin River. However, if there is a flash flood, it can make this hike very dangerous, if not deadly. What is a telltale sign that the river is going to rise? So often, one of the things that may change if you come to visit the park and you see clear water when you start your hike, but you see muddy water later in the day, it's possible that there's been rain elsewhere that's now washing some of those sediments downstream. Turbid water, muddy water can be a sign that the water is going to rise. How can you best prepare for a hike when flooding might be a possibility? Making sure that you check the forecast by looking at the news, checking online, can be really important to making sure that you're going to know before you go. Once you arrive here at the park, you can stop at a visitor center or here at the Zion Nature Center and take a look at the boards that we update daily with information about what you can expect weather-wise. In the park itself, you may encounter a ranger at a trailhead or on a trail, and if they tell you that an area is closed or that there's rain in the forecast, it's important to take that into account before you start your hike. If you see in the forecast that flash floods are possible, it might be best to avoid the slot canyons and hikes that are prone to flooding. If you do plan on going on a backcountry hike, make sure you have a way to receive weather notifications. You can always find the latest on the forecast on our Forewarn Weather app. In Southern Utah, Garrett James, ABC4 News.